Hello everyone. Today's topic that we're discussing is conflict management. Most people were never taught how to deal with conflict, so they either avoid it or they fight about it. And neither one is the correct way to do it. So we're going to talk today about how you can manage that conflict in a way that doesn't create more of a problem. Conflict, yeah. Yeah, that conflict management is a huge, huge, huge issue. I mean, I know, I don't know about many of you, but I know myself, when my parents, when they argued or they had conflict, um, they never sat us down to the table and said, you know, this is how mommy and daddy has dealt with the conflict uh, that we just had. And right. this is what we did to resolve our issue. Right. Um, all you heard was a bunch of door slamming, um, maybe a few things thrown. Um, and then you saw one come out the room and one either left the house and went for a ride or just went and plopped down on the sofa and didn't say anything. Um, you can feel the tension in the air. So that conflict is it's really important to learn exactly how to manage it. Right. And and because of that, of what, you know, either we experienced in our past or what we've done in our own relationships, um, so many of us don't know how to handle conflict. So we developed something that we call the rules of engagement. And we call it that because engagement has several different meanings. One of it is engagement means when you're engaging in a fight with someone. And it's also the time when the husband or the man says, will you marry me? Oh, so yes. I remember that all so well. I'm sure you do. <laughs> so we decided to you know, use that term because it has double meanings. And that is what we want to try to get across. That you're engaging in an argument with your spouse doesn't have to be a fight. It's not a fight with your mortal enemy. So some of the rules that we came up with are, one, always create a safe place to talk. Yeah, safe place um, just means some place that you're comfortable enough um, in a neutral zone. I mean, I'm sure you've heard it in those terms before. Um, a neutral zone, a place where there are no sharp objects, um, no one can run, no one can say, get out of my car, right. or, or get out of my house, or get out of my room. Um, there, there are so many different places, just basically just pick the neutral zone, a place that you feel comfortable, where you feel open enough to express yourself because that is the time that you want to express the most intimate feeling that you're having about that individual that you're in a relationship with. And it also means creating the language that makes you feel comfortable in these conversations with one another because the last thing we want you to do is to say something that will make the other person hurt or uncomfortable so creating rules to make sure that when you're speaking to one another that you're speaking in a way that can be considered loving I know that in the argument conflict portion nobody has ever talked about being loving but creating a conversation or words that don't display hurt so some things that we've heard people make their rules about is no cursing, no, cursing. no um, yelling, right. no name calling, no name calling, right. no um, bringing up the past. Whatever the things are that are your button pushers or your trigger points are the things that need to be on your rules right. so that you can create that safe space that makes you feel like, hey, I want to have this conversation with you, even if it's about that one thing that really makes us mad. Right. Absolutely. And these are the rules that you need to come up prior to the conflict. That's very important because you can't come up with them in the middle of a fight. Come up with the rules when there is no tension in the air, when nobody's angry, when it won't spark off an argument. Right. And so that you can come together at a different time and use them. And so the second one is gather your thoughts. Gather them. Gather them. Be precise. Because, as my wife stated a little earlier, once you say it, you cannot retract it. So you have to gather your thoughts. Think about what the real problem is. Not about what happened earlier in the day, or what happened last night, or what didn't happen last night, or what didn't happen yesterday. Gather your thoughts. Think about what the problem actually is, and address the problem. Don't address anything else outside, but that's the problem. Part of most of the time we get into these arguments and these conflicts because we haven't gathered our thoughts. You have to gather your thoughts and be precise. Make sure you also gather your feelings so that if you're angry and hurt, that's not the time to have a conversation about, you know, 
making sure that everybody pitches in with household chores. That's not the time to make sure, you know, you talk about that one thing that's your button pusher. So if you know that talking right now while you're angry or hurt is going to spark off that jump off or that big huge argument that you have every other week or every mm -hmm. month or right. every right. year, whatever it is, right. then you, ne you need to take the time to gather your thoughts and your feelings so that you can create the space that both people are comfortable with. We have... A few more to share with you, but this is it for today. We so appreciate you spending your time with us. And again, this one is about conflict management, rules of engagement, and the two that we share today are always create a safe place to talk and gather your thoughts and feelings.